When you arrive in Hollywood, one thing you realize very quickly is that image Hello. is Hello. everything. Welcome to Star Wars. Thank you. I need some dress advice. Come on in. Thank you. This could be something very easily worn on the red carpet for Oscars. Um, Bex Welsh is the stylist dressing Helen Mirren for the Academy Awards tomorrow. Much younger would wear this. In fact, this would be perfect for you. Do you think? Well, there's yes. not much going on down here, though, is it? How she says it's all about the dress. I think today, you know, actresses have become our sort of modern day cultural and commercial icons. Within a couple of days, you, you see that the trends are translated very quickly into um, dresses all up and down the high street and, you know, young girls everywhere want to sort of buy into it. So it's on every level and um, there's, there's a big financial impact. This one weekend is big business, generating more than $100 million in spending and creating over 7,000 jobs, all playing an important role in making the magic. Everybody in the world watches the Oscars, and everyone's sort of spotlighted on our little town right now. And it's just hair is so important because it can make or break your dress. You can have the best dress and the most killer makeup, and if your hair is crazy, that's all anyone's going to talk about. Also cashing in on the Oscars action are the gifting suites, where brands give away freebies hoping for an A-lister endorsement. These are the jeans we're trying to get all the celebrities into. Would you like a pair? Fabulous. Thank you very much. Of course. You're never giving away a bed. Yes, we are. We're giving away a bed to all the Oscar nominees. Caribbean Living's giving a one-week vacation to every celebrity. We're giving some diamonds and then some, um, just some custom-made jewelry to the Oscar nominees. You feel like Alice in Wonderland. You really do. It's so exciting. This lots of presents and um, lots of interesting things you didn't realize you needed. <laughs> and at least those who aren't taking home an Oscar statue won't be going home empty-handed. Charlotte Hawkins, Sky News, Hollywood.